Hello everyone, Monique here. Today I'm going to share with you the new Christian Louboutin. Louboutin. I get abused regardless of how I say it, but you guys know the foundation I'm talking about. <laughs> I picked up a few other products as well. I figured we'd make it as much Christian Louboutin beauty as possible. I also did pick up three of the foundations because I want to show you the different colors, how they look, to kind of help you decide which one is going to be best for you. So we're going to do a full face, we're going to make it a full day wear test, we're going to see what it's all about, details, all of the things. And I will quickly, this was per your request, compare, talk about very quickly the other foundations that I've recently tried, the Prada and the Sisley. I am going to be doing a dedicated video because I have some other new foundations that I'm going to be sharing, you know, videos about. Um, and then just put everyone together in a dedicated video. But today, all about Louboutin Beauty. Yes, let's hydrate and begin. Good morning. So it is nice and early. I figured let's just jump right into it. Don't mind. I'm in my pajamas. I still got my heatless curls in. <laughs> 7.26 a.m. Let's get into this wear test. So my goodies from Louboutin. I ordered online. They packaged everything really nicely. They included this bag. I picked up three different shades of the foundation. I've got the new eyeshadow palette. I got a lip product and I got a nail polish. I have been into the Louboutin nail polishes since the beginning. Let me quickly show you my little... I collect them and I display them here in my, uh, my little room. So... <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. So right here in front of me, front of behind, me behind my lights, I have my Louboutin collection. Like, it's just the nail polishes, the lipsticks. They're just beautiful. So overall, yeah. throughout the years, I love the shoes. I think they are art more than they are comfort. But there are some shoes that you can actually wear quite often. I have a few that I wear often, and they are not as uncomfortable as you would think. <laughs> I feel like if you stay away from the trendy pieces, you're safe. Um, but yeah, the one, the beauty came out in the beginning. Oh my gosh. I was so excited. So it's nice to see finally everything just expanding more and more and more. Um, so if you're into Louboutin and you want to see some of the other products, I do have a playlist. I'll link it so that you can check it out. So let me quickly share with you what's in the bag. We've got three shades of the foundation because you know what? This is a good problem to have. <laughs> I do have the balm, so I kind of had a little bit of a reference to go off of, but I decided let me pick up a couple of shades and share with you so you can see. I'll swatch them on the face so that you can see if you're interested in this foundation, um, what a couple of other shades look like. Um, I also picked up a lipstick. These are new. Um, this is the Rouge Stiletto. These are the, the glossy shine option. I got a Mo shade. <laughs> A color that you can wear often. This is the newest eyeshadow palette and I already have the case. So how the Louboutin Beauty works when it comes to the um, face and eye products is you buy the case and then you buy the actual shadows, technically called the refills. This one's in the very nudes, the La Palette. These give me soft and pretty vibes and there is a difference. So the older palettes, came like this, you have six. The new one I see here, it's still six, but it also has a spot for little applicators. All right, so here's the nail polish I picked up, Show in Snow 900. I like the Louboutin nail polishes. I always have, have my collection. <laughs> um, but uh, this is a little bit more of a creamy white than a regular white, but yeah, I have this on now, it's on my toes. I'm not showing my toes on the internet. But uh, I'll swatch this on a swatch for you and show it to you nonetheless. So let's get into some details about this foundation and then I will share each shade with you. So the full name is, let me get my translate. Tant fetish le fluid. Tant fetish le fluid, um, which translates to fetish complexion, the fluid. <laughs> So this is described as a matte liquid foundation that slips effortlessly on a light veil that brings breathable, buildable, 
perfectly flawless comfort and high coverage. Claims to be 24 hours of comfortable no transfer wear and a luminous matte finish. The liquid foundation unifies and illuminates with breathable high coverage. It minimizes the appearance of pores, smooths and softens the complexion and leaves the skin feeling moisturized. The texture is long lasting without drying and it feels comfortable after application. Also said to be a vegan formula infused with Thermaglam Complex concentrate for precious skin loving ingredients that actively care for the skin. So long story short, hydrating, luminous matte and finish and high coverage, which I'm just gonna sum up to like a medium to buildable full. But let's see. It was interesting to see feedback on social media for the leg swatches, which kind of confused me. But then again, I have to also remember that not everyone knows Louboutin. I have to just assume. Um, but Louboutin is shoes. So the leg swatches were genius in my opinion. They were great. It was on par with the brand. A lot of people were just going off about it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Okay, but anyways, I like them. I thought they were cute. So let's get into packaging. This is pretty. This is gorgeous. This is nice. Super luxe. So we've got a glass component with a pump. And of course, we've got red under the cap. Yes, we do. So here are the three shades. 55 neutral warm, 60 warm, and 70 warm. So here's texture and consistency. It's not heavily fragranced where it's just like, whoa, hitting you, but there is a little soft scent to it, but I'm having to like really <laughs> take it in. Okay. As always, I have my shade references, floor code, skin type, all the details you could imagine down below in the description box. So if we have any shades that are comparable or whatever, you know, all the things listed down in the description box. 55NW, that's Autumn Nude. 60W, that's Sienna Nude. And then 70W, Henna Nude. Warm undertones and a neutral warm, which I thought was great. I was really excited about that. Um, but yeah, beautiful shades. I'm glad I got them. I'm very happy that I'm able to share them with you so we can see the differences in the shades from the leg swatches to in person, on the skin, swatched on hand. You can really see the finish. These are obviously kind of heavy swatches. These are the more lighter swatches. So you can really see that the finish is truly more of that luminous matte. In the balm, I have the shade 55N. I'm gonna swatch it right up here, see if you can get a better. But just for reference, this right here and right here, you can kind of see it. That's the 55N in the balm, swatched. So I did one pump of the two darker shades uh, 60 and 70. Usually when I have products that I don't use, I'll either give them to family members um, or find a use for them. But if any of you are interested in shade 60 or 70, comment below and let me know if you want 60 or 70 and I'll be more than happy to send it to you. If you're okay with me having used it once with the pump, that was it. Um, leave a comment below and uh, we'll figure it out. But also check in the description box because I know I have to like lay things out because you understand. Okay, as usual, we're gonna do our three different methods of application. We'll do one side sponge, one side brush, and one area with the hands. Because we need to know, yes we do. All right, so I've done my morning skincare routine. I It's been a few hours. I get up at five and I get my day going. Um, but I go in with my Common Air Ceramide Serum, follow it up with my Augustina Spotter the Rich Cream, and then finish it up with sunscreen. This one is from Shantikai. Normal skincare routine, nothing new. So today I'm gonna be using my skincare as my primer. Um, I do that a lot, all the time. It's nothing new for me. <laughs> I'm 39, I've got combination skin, pretty dry to normal outer perimeter. Um, the nose is where I get the most oily. My forehead, there's still that dry area, raw hair, but sometimes it gets oily. I don't know, 
<laughs> darkness, freckles, spots, acne, you know, from pimples and whatever. So yeah, that's the skin. Let's go ahead and get my little, this is a coaster, but it's my palette. And let's apply. So I'm gonna do one pump. And I'm gonna start off with the sponge this time. I recently picked this, it's a white sponge. Never in a million years did I think I would enjoy a white sponge, but I'll tell you what it's done to me. It has forced me to wash my sponges every time I use them. And I feel like doing this is going to help me not keep buying sponges. I admit I'm lazy when it comes to <laughs> washing my brushes and you know, all that stuff. So. I've really been enjoying this too. The quality is outstanding. It is, I got it on Cospar. It's this brand, Jenny, Jenny Patkin, Pure Luxury Makeup Sponge Duel. I'll list it down below, but I got this recently and I really, really like it. So there. All right, so there is one pump. So we'll do the right side with the sponge. We'll start with that. Get a little closer. Hello. All right. So there is a very light scent. It's not overpowering. It's not too, too strong. I know a lot of these luxury brands love to kill us with the fragrance. Um, but this one's not bad. Not too bad, but it's, it's there. All right, so that is my first little layer. I, there's still a ton of product here, so I'm gonna go pick up some more and see how she builds. Work on this little girl right here. Let's see. Okay, covered nicely. Look at that. Skin still looks like skin. It's a true, it's like a soft skin matte finish, but there is like a very light glow coming through. Okay. I will not say that this is full coverage, but then again, we're using the sponge. So we'll see how we get on the brush side and the hand side. But I will say this is a solid medium. Okay, beautiful. Um, I still <laughs> have some product left. So you know what I'll do? I'll just do whatever's left and I will use my hands for application and apply the hands on the forehead. That went on very easily. Hand application, it's not everyone's favorite. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's messy. But I tell you, I, I, it's the best it's the best way to apply your product because the warmth and just everything melds in so nicely. Look at that. Wow. Looks pretty good. Okay. Let me make sure I get my eyebrows. So technically I used that one pump, was able to build up with the sponge application and do my forehead with my hands. Okay, so I think it'll be fair to say a little goes a long way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with another pump. There we go. And now we're gonna go in with the brush. This is the Wayne Goss F4. This is his foundation brush. So let's pick up. This feels very nice on the skin. It feels light, whereas it doesn't feel like there's product per se, but as I'm applying it, it feels very 
nice. Doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It goes on the skin really nicely, smoothly, just melts in. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I hadn't done my nose with a sponge or, or hand, so I'm just going to do it with the brush. Look at that. Okay, obviously there's not, so obviously there's no concealer, but just take a look at the skin. Look at the application. It really is just giving skin. So I'm going to pick up whatever is left and some of my little freckles here. Let's see if we can hide them. So we can really see the coverage. What I'm really enjoying is that this is still allowing me to look like me, skin to look like skin, without it being like a heavy mask on the skin. And it feels extremely lightweight and very comfortable. Get super close so you can see everything. Looks pretty good over here in the nose crevice. I like that in my smile lines, I don't have any heavy settling as of yet. Obviously, we're going to wear it all day and see, but you know. I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm using my Chanel Sublimage. So I'm going to just apply concealer. Let's see how everyone works together. Because we always need to see how our other products apply and go with our new guy, you know. And what I'm going to do also is take this on the lid and we're going to use that as primer today. Concealer went on nicely and melded in beautifully with the foundation. That's very important <laughs> because we want to make sure our go-to favorite products work well with our new friend, you know? I'm going to set with the Louboutin powder. I have this in the shade 30W. It's a go-to powder of mine. I've been using it. I love it. It made it into the best of beauty of 2023. So it's a go-to. I have good experience with it. I'm just going to touch a little bit of my Westman Atelier pink bubble on my under eye. Just a light little brightening, just a little bit. And on the lid as well. So here is the foundation all set forehead, sponge side, brush side, concealer. Continuing on the face, I'm gonna go in with my Hermes bronzer. This is what I would normally do, you know, this is my go-to every day. It's between this and the Chanel. This is so good. Speaking of Chanel, I have the new collection. I cannot wait. <laughs> to share it with you. I've got both palettes. I got the highlight. So make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on. Face, blush, and highlight. I'm going to go into this one for my blush. So changing this out is really, really easy. Underneath your uh, case, you have a little hole. And there you go. So this was Rose Pigale. So you just take her out. Super easy to change, right? There you go. All good. If anything, they always include the instructions. So here's what the new palette looks like. Pretty neutral, soft, easy for the everyday. I was all over this as soon as I saw it. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> let me give you swatches real quick. Again, a very easy, basic, everyday color story. All right, so I'm gonna go into this shade here with a fluffy brush and just blend this in the crease and on the outer eye. Nice and easy. The mattes are very creamy, very nice. They're very, they were very creamy and buttery to the touch as well. Swatched very nicely. Blending on the eye very nicely. Pigmented, but not too much to where, oh my gosh, I can't control my, I can't control what's going on. You still have the ability to build or keep it soft. I'm also using a fluffy brush, so keep that in mind. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the darker, just a little. Don't want this to get out of hand now. 
just a little on the outer eye. Because again, I want to keep this soft and pretty. Whatever's left, bring it in the crease. Now this shade right here, it's got a little bit of a more of a pinky tone. I'm going to put that all over my lid. Mm. I want to use one of the sparkles, because why not? Um, maybe go into this one. This one's a little bit more champagne versus this one that really comes across as more of like a topper. This would be so pretty just a little bit on the center of the lid. But this one, I'm going to just put it right there. Right there, little inner corner highlight, soft and pretty. And here's a look at the palette. These mattes, they do give a little bit of kick up, but guys, it's eyeshadow. But here we go. I like this color story. Look at it on the eyes. Very pretty, very soft, very easy for the everyday. I like it. Mascara, this is, this is a great mascara. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. This is the slim stick. This is the glossier finish. That's so cute. It's a really pretty color. I do like that they also have those, they have the color right here. Love it. All right, let's do a quick swatch. Right here. Mm -hmm. So let's apply her. Mm -hmm. My lips are so dry, <laughs> so this is perfect. Pretty. I like this color, but reality is I'm going to wear my liner, so I'm going to go in my Sizzly liner in the shade Chocolate. So here is our completed look. I got to still pull myself together, like the hair and all the things, and get dressed, but here's the finished look. It's this foundation. This is feeling really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like anything at all. Very comfortable. And I feel that it really, you know, pulled me together without being too much, too heavy, too any of that, with it being high coverage. <laughs> so I'm having a good first impression, but I'm going to wear it all day. I'm going to do a couple of check-ins with you as the day progresses so we can see how everything is going. But so far, so good. And again, it feels really nice, very light, very comfortable on the skin. It is so cold <laughs> and it's raining, but I just wanted to come outside and show you how everything's looking so far so good all right i'll see you in a little bit hello hello it is 11 28 i'm here with my first check-in everything is feeling so good very lightweight I love the finish and the look of this on the skin. So here is what the forehead looks like. That was the area I applied with my hands. This is the side with the brush. This is the side with the sponge. I really think everything's still looking pretty good, but it's only been a few hours, so we will see. But I just wanted to come check in really quick, show my face and all the things. Hi everyone, good evening. It's currently 8.47 p.m. Here we are. I wore this foundation all day very comfortably and I had a very nice, pleasant experience. It didn't feel like I was wearing anything. I still feel pretty good about it. I'm a little shiny in my obvious areas. These are the areas I would typically get shiny in, but for the most part, I really feel like my makeup held up really well today. As far as the weather, because weather truly is a contributing factor when it comes to foundation wear throughout the day. Um, it was pretty cool, pretty cold. <laughs> I like, I say cool because I do live in South Florida, but it was a cool cold, a very chill kind of day, literally. And it was rainy and ugh, no sun. It was very drab. Um, that's kind of why my hair is very blah too. But for the most part, um, it was a very cooler, colder kind of day. Um, but I do feel that everything wore really well and it still feels amazing. So, so let's get nice and close and see how everything wore. All right. Oh, the grays are graying. Hello. The new eyeshadow um, that I picked up, 
this is going on my go-to area that I grab my makeup for every day. This is such an easy wearing color story. I really like how the shadows wore all day. Super soft, realistic color story. Very, very beautiful. Creamy, pigmented. Really had a good experience with the eyeshadows. I love the other one. So I was, I had a feeling I was going to like this one too. It's just a very soft and easy kind of go-to color story. And... I think they held up pretty well. So let's check out the skin. The forehead is where I applied the foundation with my hands. This is the side I used the sponge, and then this is the side that I used the brush. When it came to the application, I think it's just gonna be personal preference. I think all methods of application looked really good, and it held up the coverage throughout the day. Nothing moved, nothing looks weird. I still think it looks really nice. The brush side, same thing. Now, I have very little settling in my smile lines, which is a very, very beautiful thing. But overall, I really do feel that this foundation held up so nicely. And again, I keep bringing up how it feels because you know what? These are things we're wearing on our face all day. So how it feels is important. Nobody wants a product to sit on their skin and feel heavy and greasy and make you feel like you just want to hurry up and take it off. This is not like that. This is comfortable. This is nice. This is this is some good stuff. <laughs> so at the moment, other than the shiny nose, the rest looks really nice. So if you have normal, somewhat dry skin, I think this is going to look so gorgeous on you. My forehead does get a little shiny at times, but right now it's not. It's just my nose. <laughs> I'm just grabbing the powder so that we can touch up. Let's refresh the product and see how it looks. On the go, this is something I would do. So I pick up a little bit of product. Let's just kind of see if we can refresh and how it'll look. Take down the shine, kind of just revive everything. Yeah, it still looks good. And I could just go another 10, 12 hours comfortably. Okay, so really quick, let me compare these foundations. Talk about them really quick. Again, really quick, because I am going to be doing a dedicated video um, with just rounding up all the foundations that I've recently tried. So Prada, Sisley, and I have a few others. Those videos are coming soon. Let's start off with the texture comparison. So the Louboutin the Prada, and the Sisley. As you can see, I will say that all three of them, their texture and consistency is a very lightweight, comfortable wearing consistency and texture that just goes on the skin with ease. So there's Louis Vuitton, Prada, and Sisley. Looking at just these heavy swatches, the texture and consistency, they all look the same. If I don't tell you which one is which, you probably won't be able to know. The Prada foundation is beautiful. I was so impressed with the foundation. I highly dislike the packaging, and I mentioned that in my video, my dedicated video. Just get this. You don't need all of this. This feels clunky and clumsy, and I don't like it at all. Um, so I'm just not impressed with the product packaging at all. Of all of the packaging, this has the most beautiful packaging by far. Um, now Sisley, this, I have to say of all of my Sisley foundations and I have like five or six of them of all my Sisley foundations. This one is the nicest and the most coverage. Now all three of these foundations have really good high coverage. And when I say high coverage, it's more so that nice medium really covers your imperfections all while leaving the skin looking like skin. That's something all of these do. A lot of the high-end luxury brands love to hit us with a ton of fragrance in our foundations. These are not like that. They're soft and pleasant and enjoyable. It's not like an in your face. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, I can't wait till this dissipates. It's not like that. It's not going to be realistic or fair for me to say which ones I like more or don't like more because they're all still so new to me. I'm saving the real in-depth detailed review of all of the foundations for that video that I mentioned. So so make sure you're subscribed, have your notifications turned on, and I will have that video up 
shortly. I'm just <laughs> finishing up all of the other foundations that I'm going to be trying and testing everything out so that I can give you a valuable, realistic, really put the products to the to the test, put them to work and all of that, but quickly, just quickly wanted to share this with you. So I hope as always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I already put my hair up. I was getting ready to go take my makeup off. <laughs> but I didn't want to forget to tell you, remember, the two other shades that I simply pumped one time and swatched on the face, I want to give to you if that's okay with you. Check down in the description box and remember, just leave me a comment if you're interested and with um, what shade you would like and I'll send it to you. <laughs> All right, I think that's what I remembered to come and tell you. All right, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this new product. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.